Good morning. It's Monday, January 29. In both the New and the Old Testament, stewards are defined by what they do. The New Testament specifically describes the stewards in terms of accountability and expectations. The Old Testament, though, is more focused on declaring God's ownership than directly defining us as His stewards. Thus, while the concept of a steward is very similar for both Testaments, the New Testament expands the concept beyond just household management. In the parable of the dishonest steward, Jesus expands the definition of steward. His lesson is about more than a steward escaping financial disaster. It is also applicable to those escaping spiritual disaster through a wise manifestation of faith. A wise steward will prepare for the future of Jesus' return beyond the here and now. Ellen White says, Shall I open my heart to the Holy Spirit that every faculty and energy may be aroused, which God has given me in trust? I am Christ's property, and I am employed in His service. I am a steward of His grace. That was Ellen G. White from Fundamentals of Christian Education. In Luke chapter 12, 35 through 48, Jesus also uses the term steward metaphorically. He tells of the wise steward being ready for the sons of man's return and describes the unfaithful steward as the one who has given up caring because the master has delayed his return. The unfaithful steward has turned into a tyrant and has become abusive to those around him. He is no longer a pattern of good works or a manager of grace. When we accept Christ, we are stewards called to manage God's resources. But more important, we are to manage the spiritual realities of the Christian life in preparation for heaven. Read Luke 12, verse 45. Why must as a Seventh-day Adventist who often struggle with a sense of delay be especially careful about falling into this deception? Go ahead and answer the question in the comment section below. God bless you and have a great day.